Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I am going to be doing a makeup tag video. I was inspired by Glitter Fallout's video where, and I'll link that video down in my description box, but she did a video on what palettes she would keep if she could only keep one palette per brand. And that inspired me to look at my collection and kind of do the same thing. So if you are interested in what palettes I would keep from each brand, then keep on watching. So I actually recently did this, it wasn't even that big of a declutter. I have a lot of shit and I don't like to let shit go, but I did attempt to do a declutter and I did go through my entire eyeshadow collection and all of that is in my past video. So if you're curious on all the products that I do have from each of these brands, you can watch some of those videos. So in this basket right here, I have about 10, 11, maybe 12 palettes from 10, 11, 12 different brands of palettes that I will probably never, I will never let go of these palettes in my collection. And I'm gonna tell you why, and I might swatch a few shades, but I'm also on a time crunch because I have to leave in 45 minutes to go to a yoga class. So hopefully I can do all of this because I also have to take all this off because I ain't sweating with all this on my face. Okay. So I wanna start off with ColourPop Cosmetics. I feel like everyone who loves beauty, who loves eyeshadow palettes, has a pretty sizable ColourPop collection. And when it came to looking at all my ColourPop palettes, this was actually really easy for me to pick. And I think I mentioned it in my declutter, but this is ColourPop's Lush Life palette. Now, this palette is absolutely gorgeous, okay? This is a summer palette. You got really beautiful greens over here, a little bit of orange, and these beautiful aqua blues, okay? And I am a sucker for green, so obviously I'm gonna love the green shades in this palette, but, but anytime I'm gonna do something fun in the summer, rather go on a weekend getaway or just a day trip to Galveston, this is a palette I always bring with me. So I will go to the casino this palette's in my makeup bag to go. I'm gonna go to the beach. This palette's going to be in my makeup bag to go. I'm gonna go to San Antonio. This palette is going to be in my makeup bag. It's just the palette I love to use during the summer and that is the first palette. Now, Melt Cosmetics was a little bit more difficult, okay? And it was between two different palettes and I'm sure after you see this palette, if you've watched other videos, you might be able to guess the other palette because I talked about it a lot during the fall of 2023, but my can't live without Melt Cosmetics palette is within collaboration of Bailey Sarian. This is the Fatally Yours eyeshadow palette. I got this for Christmas and I'm constantly still using this. I love the fact that all these shades in this palette are matte, and I also love that all of these shades are grungy 90s vibe, because the grungy 90s vibe is me. Like, I absolutely obsessed with grungy vibes, okay? This is the palette that I use when I need to just get out the door and go, because I usually put one or two shades on, just kind of do a simple look, and I'm, and I'm done. Nomad Cosmetics, I, I'm pretty sure just like Milk Cosmetics, I, I have almost every palette. Now I don't have every palette, I know for a fact I don't from Melt or Nomad, but I have majority of Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. And when it came to Nomad Cosmetics, it was actually surprisingly easy for me to pick out that one palette. And that one palette is the Hudson Valley palette and that's because I'm a spooky bitch, okay? I love fall. In my head, I, I used to say fall started in August, but this year I'm like, it's July 5th, it's fall. No, I'm, I'm kidding, but I might. But every shade in this palette just screams fall and pumpkins, and that's why I love it. And that's probably why it will forever be my favorite Nomad Cosmetics palette. I feel like this brand is not really popular anymore, but I mean, this, this brand was had its own era, okay? And even though I have a lot of products from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I feel like a lot of people aren't talking about them anymore. They're over it, I get it. But I personally really enjoy Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes, especially the new ones, including the nu Nouveau. Uh, someone help me out in my comment section. I believe it's Nouveau. But this palette, 
I, I like how you can do something light and kind of airy looking, or I can go kind of like army green and grungy. Like this is the best of both worlds. This is a palette that you can use in the spring. It's a palette you can use in the summer and it's a palette you could use in the fall. And I'm sure I could figure out some winter look I could do with this as well. But I, this is my elevated, I have to go to the school and look kind of like a preppy mom palette. Like this is the palette I use. Now I, I'm a huge fan of like bold colors. I mean, my eyes are pink today. Uh, I like I like colorful eyeshadow palettes. So when I was picking out from my Natasha Denona palettes, it really surprised me that the palette that I picked out from Natasha Denona is not colorful. But it is so useful, and I think that's why I picked this one. But it is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. This is just like Lush Life. If I'm going anywhere, I'm going out somewhere on the weekend, I'm going for a day trip, I'm going... I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I need to bring my makeup with me and I have to prepare for more than one eyeshadow look. This is the palette I'm bringing because I can do something really simple where it's nice, soft, daytime, or I can make it super glam and use like the golds in here and the deeper shades. But also this palette contains my favorite black eyeshadow. This one right here. This is the blackest black and it is the blackest black. It is my favorite black shadow in my entire makeup collection. I don't think I have a shadow that's blacker. Like that is a dark black, okay? And we all know that there's there's some palettes that have a patchy black or just like a black you have to build. This one is deep dark and black the moment it touches your eyelids or your skin. I also really enjoy shades that have like that deep plum maroon shade to it which is also why I like that melt palette so much. But shades like this, they're my favorite. I have at least 10 palettes from Glamlight Cosmetics. So out of the 10, this wasn't like a difficult choice, but it's more of an embarrassing choice because this is a collaboration with somebody I can't really stand. And I know it's not nice to talk shit about people on the internet and I'm not talking shit. I just don't like her. Look, I am not a Michaela Noguera fan, okay? And when I bought this palette, it's not because I'm a fan of her. It's the color story that really brought me in. And the color story makes it my favorite glam light palette. And it is the Michaela Part 2. I, I mean, I really wish it was called something else so it wasn't so obviously Michaela. But I love green, okay? And this has some really beautiful greens in here. And then the purples, purple and green looks combination together is one of my favorite color combos. Also the blues in here are gorgeous as well. Like this is, out of all the palettes from Glam Light, this is, in my opinion, the best color story that they have. I also just, every time I open a Glam Light palette, I just wanna swatch the shimmers because they are my favorite shimmers. It's mm, it's between them and Blend Bunny. They're very similar with their shimmer formula, but like I I can't help it. I love it. Now I actually have almost every single Lunar Beauty palette except for I believe there was a collaboration that Lunar Beauty did with Laura Lee, and then there's also the one that came out over the holidays. But besides that, I'm pretty sure I have almost every single Lunar Beauty eyeshadow palette. And this one is the one that I cannot live without. And this is Moonspell Volume 2. And this has, like if, if you love purple, this is a great palette to have. I also really enjoy the bright, vibrant reds in this palette because a lot of my eyeshadow palettes don't contain those bright, orangey reds. A lot of them are like the deeper burgundy shades, which I love those as well. But the bright reds in here are almost like those orangey corally shades. And when I'm wanting to do a look with like, if I want to do a look where I'm kind of sunburnt, this is the palette that I use. So this was Easy. I, I found this challenge kind of overall pretty easy because I kind of just know my favorites. I know my go-tos. But when it came, like for Pat McGrath Labs, it's one specific shadow that made me pick this palette. And so this is the Mothership Volume 2 Sublime. 
it's the green in here, okay? This this green right here is, is gorgeous. It's got a nice, beautiful black base, and it has like a pretty shift to a green gold. And it has some purple in there as well. Th this is my favorite green shadow in my entire makeup collection. And because of that, this is the, the Pat McGrath palette that I cannot live without. Earlier, I mentioned Blend Bunny Cosmetics, another brand where I have lots of their palettes. My favorite palette from Blend Bunny, unfortunately, is discontinued. But from the moment I got it, I knew it was gonna be my favorite palette from the brand for a long time. And that is the Surge palette. This palette has a great combination of pastels, brights, neons, and a beautiful row of shimmers. This is actually the palette that I have on my eyes today. I, this palette is so versatile. Like honestly, I don't wanna say this is the only palette that I need in my entire life because it's not, but you can do so much with this palette from soft girly looks to grungy goth looks to a neon EDM festival look. You do so much with this palette, which is why I love it so much. And it's why I reach for it all the time. This is one of those palettes that sit here in my palette holder on my vanity because I love it so much. Whew, we're getting down to it. I have two more palettes. Uh, one is from Huda Beauty. It's another one of those brands where I just tend to buy almost every launch, at least when they come in the bigger packaging like this. Just like the Melt Cosmetics, this is a newer palette. This is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge. I like grunge. I like grungy 90s vibes. I talked about this earlier, which is why this is my favorite because this is a palette full of beautiful cool tones where you do get your black and your purplish grays and some silvers in here. And even down here, you got a few little taupey shades as well. Obviously this is the top half is my favorite half, but I love this palette. If I had to get rid of all of my Huda Beauty palettes and could only keep one, by a by a landslide, it would be this palette. Okay, so I lied. I actually have two more palettes now. Now I have every single Patrick Ta palette that's come out. There's only been three. Okay, so it's not that difficult to choose from three palettes, especially especially when the brand is very neutral, kind of that sophisticated look. But I do have all three of them. And my favorite one is a new is the newest launch kind of like Huda Beauty. It is the Major Dimension Volume 3. And I love this one because this is the the perfect basics palette. I've got a row of warm tone neutrals and a row of cool tone neutrals. It is the in reality, it would be the only basics palette I would ever need. Will it be the only basics palette that I ever have? No. But this is the perfect basics palette. This last palette it's kind of like the Patrick Ta situation. I don't have every palette from this brand, but I do have two amazing palettes from this brand right at, in this moment, okay? The Sephora sale's coming up and I do have palettes from this brand sitting in my Sephora cart that I'm waiting to get 20% off of. This is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 5 I Am Palette. But I put this palette in here because this is a palette that I, I use all the time. This is a palette that goes with all of my other palettes and when I'm looking for that perfect shimmer or that duochrome, multi-chrome or a unique finish eyeshadow, this is the palette that I use. I'm trying not to swatch greens, okay? I really am. But I do have other palettes from Danessa Myricks sitting in my Sephora cart like I mentioned earlier. I don't like paying full price for something just, it's expensive. I got this palette during a Sephora sale. I'm gonna get my other palettes from Danessa Myricks during a Sephora sale because it's just a lot of money. But this is just a beautiful palette to complement all of your other palettes. So this is kind of like a top picks from brands kind of video. But if you like the palettes I picked or even if you disagree with them, let me know in the comments below and share with me your, your top picks when it comes to eyeshadow palettes from brands. But until next time, bye y'all.